by day the scenery can be incredibly calm and beautiful, even stunning. However, dusk begins early in a sea of trees, and as daylight begins to wane, the hapless visitor may realize he has not allowed for enough time to get out of the forest before nightfall. If only he had partnered with another hiker, he may not have ended up at night in one of the forests you should never visit alone. Robinson Woods in Illinois covers land that was appropriated from three different tribes of Native Americans, the Potawatomi, Ottawa, and Chippewa nations. Robinson was the European name adopted by the last family of Indians to remain, the family of Chief Cheche Pinqua, who was also known as Alexander. After their house was burned to the ground in 1955 by offenders unknown, the wood became their final resting place. In winter, in the vicinity of the indigenous burial ground, people report the smell of lilacs in the air. During the day, a herd of deer may defy the nature of the animal by running circles around visitors for no apparent reason. At night appear orbs of light, believed to be the spirits of the Native American family. Another house that was burned to the ground from colonial times gives its name to the Old House Woods of Virginia. This forest near the Chesapeake Bay is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean, and the nearby port town of Matthews was visited in the 1700s by British soldiers and pirates. Here the ghosts of the British are said to be occasionally joined by the specter of a headless dog. A lesser bay on the coast, known as White's Creek, is also the site where in the 19th century a fisherman is reported to have seen a pirate ship of old sailing inland on the bay. But the vessel did not rest when it came upon the shore. Instead, it continued to sail over the beach and dry land as the spectral ship disappeared slowly into the forest. A forested area in the city of Wildwood, Missouri, adjacent to the Merrimack River, is truly the haunted wood for unbelievers. Visitors often get the feeling of being watched its only access is the infamous Zombie Road, which runs parallel to the river, and the bed of the railroad, which also once followed the waterway. In the daytime, footsteps may be heard, coming from just inside the trees flanking the road. To lay its tracks in 1863, the railroad company employed mainly Irish immigrants. The work was dangerous, as the men were required to position the iron rails over the cross ties by brute force. More than one worker lost his life by means of grisly accident, and their souls may still walk the line at night. The phantom bodies are said to glow with a light of bluish white. But if they are approached, they disappear. In Northern Ireland, ancient stone circles buried deep in the forests of Ballyboli gave the site its reputation as a place of worship in the religious ceremonies of the ancient Druids. Another legend claims that Ballyboli conceals an entrance to the Celtic underworld. The legend says that 
an alarming number of disappearances took place within the wood. Between the 15th and 17th centuries, with no explanation as to where the missing people ended up. In 1997, a scream was heard by two men who were hiking in the forest. Their search for the victim ended only with the discovery of a tree which was covered with gore. As they retreated along the trail, the men could not help but look back. Standing next to the tree, four human figures now appeared with hoods over their heads, who evidently were watching them leave. In 2016, a rave was held in the same wooded area. It is said that none of the participants can remember a single detail of their attendance at this event. In France during World War I, the forest of Verdun was the site of the longest battle in history. Throughout the year of 1916, it reduced both sides, German and French, by a total approaching one million human casualties. Artillery transformed the battlefield into a crater-filled moonscape that remains to this day. It is still littered with so much unexploded ordnance, barbed wire and arsenic, that crops refuse to grow there. Oh.